just over a month ago, I put a video on YouTube about a dream I had uh, concerning people being tossed to and fro, you know, with boats and things like that, you know, and storms and uh, these boats were destroyed and it was uh, dealing with people and distractions and being confused and things like that. And, you know, obviously right now there's a lot of confusion going on, you know, uh, today is uh, November 9th. We're just under a week out from the 2020 presidential election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And I wanted to give a little uh, disclaimer here uh, regarding church and state. You know, there are a lot of people, including Christians, that claim that uh, there should be a separation of church and state in regards to the fact that the church or any ministers or anyone involved in ministry should not be involved or have any say in politics or have any concern regarding politics in any way, shape, or form. And I want to let you know that that is just not the case. If you are one of those that feel that way about separation of church and state, you've got it backwards. The whole idea of separation of church and state was to keep the government out of the church. And I can back that up with the Bible because if you read the Bible, God is all over politics all throughout the Bible. All over the Bible. The Bible says that God puts kings in and he takes kings out. So let's uh, let's do a little rundown on uh, a little bit about what we know right now. Uh, you know, the media has declared that Joe Biden is the winner of this presidential election. However, none of the states have actually certified him the winner. So right now, the media is kind of gaslighting everything with America. So. Here's what we know so far. President Trump and his legal team have um, said there are allegations of fraud over this election. Well, let's look at some of these allegations. In Pennsylvania, for instance, Trump was ahead of Biden by over 500,000 votes at one time and then magically there just appeared around 750,000 votes and they were all for Joe Biden. On top of that, there's been allegations of unit United States postal worker managers have ordered postal workers to backdate ballots to November 3rd. Also, there's been allegations of several thousand dead people that have voted in multiple states, including uh, the former heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Joe Frazier. There's also been allegations of computer software glitch switching votes from Donald Trump to Joe Biden. And then you have allegations of Republican advisors not being allowed into the ballot area to uh, help analyze ballots. You see, the Republicans and the Democrats are both allowed advisors into the counting stations to oversee the ballots to make sure they're okay. And if they're good, they're good. If they're not, if they see any discrepancies, then they're set aside and looked at later. The thing is, we need truth to prevail, okay? If any of these allegations are true, that's fraud, okay? This isn't about uh, Democrats and Republicans. It's about good versus evil, you know? The thing is, right now, these allegations are against Joe Biden and the Democrats. And that should worry you. That should worry everyone. It worries me. You know, the thing is, is if these allegations were against Donald Trump and the Republicans, I'd be just as upset. So Luke chapter 8 verses 17 and 18 says, For nothing is hidden that will not become evident, nor secret that shall not be known and come into open view. So pay attention. 
how you listen. For whoever has to him, more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he supposes he has, will be taken away from him. So like I said, this isn't about Democrats and Republicans. It's not about donkeys and elephants. It's about good and evil. But you know, with that being said, you know, there's there's people out there that say, oh, well, you're judging. You're judging the Democrats. You're judging Joe Biden. Well, no, I'm not judging anyone. That's not my place. But Ephesians 5.11 says, Take no part in the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. We're supposed to expose darkness. If there's darkness, it needs to be exposed. Just because you're exposing darkness doesn't mean you're judging anything. You also, you also got to keep in mind that the Bible says that in the last days that people will think that right is wrong and wrong is right. And that's becoming more prevalent by the day. You know, the thing is, um, God is not the author of confusion. We know that. And there's a lot of confusion going on. And God is in control no matter what. And we all need to remember that. We need to pray for our country. We need to pray for President Trump because he's still our president. If Joe Biden becomes our president, we all need to pray for Joe Biden. You know, we're, we're, we're commanded to pray for our leaders. But, you know, uh, right now, um, I look at what the media is doing. They're, they're gaslighting America right now. You know, they're, they're saying that Joe Biden has won this election. It's in the bag. It's a done deal. And they're calling all these fraud allegations a hoax. Well, the thing is, is that if these allegations prove to be true, and if by some chance that President Trump remains in office, it could be bad news um, for America. I mean, uh, there could be civil war, basically, you know, and all the looting and riots and things that we had back in uh, May and June of this year would basically be child's play. And, you know, I don't want that. You don't want that. And we need to become the United States of America. We don't need to be divided. And like I said, God is in control. And we need to keep praying and pray that truth will be revealed. Because that's what we need. So, you know, like I said in my last video uh, on my dream, you know, if there's any of you that need prayer right now uh, concerning anything, uh, give me just uh, leave me a comment down below. I'll pray for you. And um, again, uh, I hope everyone's doing well and have a good rest of the day.